Um, <laughs> do we have a theme for this show? Uh, yes, it's uh, Maths of the End of the World. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, so the first question, you're working in a supermarket and your manager is Mayan. It's the 20th of December 2012 and he believes the world is going to end tomorrow and he wants to try and clear all of his stock before the end of the yeah. world. Um, so he's going to get you to do a bit of stacking. Um, so uh, that's what the problem's about. I've got some things for you to stack over on the table. Right. <laughs> So here we go, we've got tins of beans and they're at one end of the supermarket and the manager wants you to get them to the other end of the supermarket. The rule is that you can only tin lift one tin of beans at a time. You can't put the large tin of beans on top of the small one. So the challenge is what is the smallest number of moves you need in order to get the four tins from one end of the supermarket to the other? Can I just say, if yeah. it really is the last day on earth, this is yes. really bad prioritising. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the priorities are all wrong. So we need to shift this stack of beans from the left-hand display to the right. We can't stack larger tins on smaller ones as that's a health and safety risk. How many times do we have to move the tins? I used to work in a supermarket. I was deputy head of dairy. Wow. And there was two of us in the department, but I still had <laughs> deputy head, even though it was me no, in the head, that was it. But yeah. There's no way that you should have been deputy head of dairy because just ten minutes ago you disclosed to me that your well, favourite cheese is Primula. Yeah, but that's not... <laughs> sort of, that's um, not even a cheese. No, it's not. <laughs> Go pick up the first one. So yeah, they're already so. at this guy. Yeah, yeah, this yeah so they're to already at that end. To be here. Yeah. And uh, you get. Uh, so there you, you go. So you need that's... to do that before you can do that. Absolutely. Exactly. So yeah. that's two yeah. moves. That feels like the first move that you it's should do. It's a good do. first move. Can we put him on there? Yes, absolutely, because he's tiny. <gasps> Three. Then get that one over there. Four. Is that useful? Well, you, then that puts Yeah, that's that fine. There. Five. Six. Six. Oh, and then you can put that Seven. back there. Yeah. Eight. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Now we've got that Nine. one at the top. Big boy. Ten. Yeah, Ten. Very good. Exactly. Eleven. Yeah. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Wow. Didn't feel that, yeah. bad, but we did it. But do you think that was the most efficient one? Well, way? I think there's one point where they moved a, a, a tin unnecessarily from there to there. I think there's one bit in the middle where no. you, just, you just basically did a form of housekeeping. Uh, <laughs> I think it could be done in fewer because if the destination is there, um, but it would be a similar kind of thing. I'm not. I'm trying to work out the general rule. The general rule. So if I added another uh, tin to the to the lot, how many would that take? You so right? is it like if there were only two? Ooh, yes. There'd be a rule for two. Oh, I think. And then thinking... it would grow like. There we go. Oh, that's, that's, that? that's, that's proper. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's probably. Here's the proper math. Thank you. Oh my god. Really impressed. Yeah. You know we are actually. I did AS level maths as a hobby for no, about a year. No, that's not a hobby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you learnt Latin, didn't you? Yeah. As a hobby. As a hobby. Yeah. As yeah, a hobby. yeah, yeah. Just yeah. while you're judging people. Yeah. So let's start with one. How many does it take to do one? One. Yeah. Oh, is it like squares? Let's see. That's right. the only mass thing that I know. Well, squares is nice. I like the fact that you would, I'm going to write, I'm going to write squares, but I'm going to write <laughs> squares like you said it, which was squares with two exclamation marks. Thank you. How many, many, so many moves for, for two? Three moves for two. Three, right. okay. You, okay. Uh, how many for three? Would it be something like nine? Would it be uh, nine? Give it a go. You have to do, yeah. yeah. Don't have to go... There. There. This is One, two, three, <laughs> Teamwork. Four. This is good, isn't it? Five, oh, yep. six. I don't want to do it. Two, seven. Oh, is it cubed Three minus tins. something? No. Oh, you're on seven. Five. Right, I now. Know, I only know square <laughs> what is it? The gap between them is two and then four. Wow. Oh, oh. So that sounded six. good. Yeah, it was good, yeah. yeah. How many do we, do we say for four? Well, well I think it was a bit of an inefficient move, was, so actually yeah. the, the most efficient is 15. Yeah? Oh, so you did it in 17. I think you did a little. Um, so two, so, four, then eight. Yeah. So that's 16 minus one. Four and sixteen are related to each other. <gasps> so what, what did you say? This is sixteen minus one. Yeah. This is eight that's minus one. Minus one. That's yeah, the next oh, one. Oh, so that's all two. Just look, that's two, two yeah. squared, two, three, two, four. Just what about sixty-four? Oh, it's so exciting. What, it's a sixty-four. Right? Okay. If there's sixty-four tins, right? How many moves? Just don't do it. It's the end of the world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's four to sixteen? What is it? Oh, two to the power of four. four? Yeah. So all you do is two to the power of the number of tins. Oh, I see. So two to the power of 64 minus one. Yeah, yeah. When solving this problem, your goal is always to shift the bottom tin from the far left to the far right and steal the tins on top of it. So with our four tin tower, we needed to build a tower of three to get the bottom tin out. To do this, you need to build a tower of two on the right. To do this, your first move is to put down the top tin in the middle. Four tins, 15 steps. For any even number of tins, always start in the middle. 
For any odd number of tins, the first move is to put the top tin on the right. Five tins, 31 step. You can calculate the number of moves for any number n of tins by using the formula two to the power of n minus one. For example, with four tins, two to the power of four is 16, minus one is 15 moves. In fact, this is a game that uh, was invented by a mathematician called Edward Lucas. Really? Yeah. And, um, I thought this was like an old Vietnamese game. No, it's, it, it dates back to late 19th century France. He came up with this myth about um, monks who had to transfer um, 64 rings from one end to the other. And it was said that once they had achieved this, um, the end of the world would take place. Oh. So this is, was our kind of connecting theme yes. here. But how long would it take you? If you moved um, a tin per second, if you had 64 of them, um, how long would it take you to do yeah, um, two to the power 64 minus one? Do we have, yeah. like, a, a drinks break? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's yeah. 585 billion years which is longer than many scientists estimate the universe is actually going to last for. So, so did they so, do it? The so I think we're pretty safe. <laughs> <laughs> They're still doing They're still it. They're still doing it out there in, in, in Hanoi. Hanoi, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's called the Terrors of Hanoi, is the, uh, ah. is the actual more common name for them. Hence the cleverly uh, Hanoi, baked, Hanoi beans. baked beans. Very good. Very good. So I think, uh, well, you did manage to achieve your powers of two, I think, by spotting the pattern. So I think I'll actually give uh, this round to, to Alex and Josie. So, um, brawn, actually, I'm not sure it's much brawn going no, on here. I think there's too much brains yeah. on this side. So, 